Hello, and welcome to another Action Pack tutorial. I am your host, Free W67, and today we will be talking about ProBoolean. What ProBoolean is, is basically you can cut objects with other objects. Let's get started. So let's start with this box here. We'll cut a few things out of it real quick just to get the general idea of what's going on. You will find ProBoolean up here in Geometry. Well, Create Geometry. Drop down to Compound Objects. You'll see there's a Boolean and a Pro Boolean. The reason for this tutorial was I was using Boolean and I was getting some results that weren't exactly what I thought they should have been. I had a lot of extroverts floating around. Not always, but sometimes if I was doing multiple objects at once. And after some research, I discovered on the interwebs that I probably should have been using Pro Boolean from the start. So here's the tutorial. So we'll select Pro Boolean. The object you want cut out of is the main one you select. And you can see here, start picking is when you go to select your objects. And we have our options here. Uh, we'll start with a little donut here. We'll hit subtract. We want to remove said donut. So let's, uh, I can't right click it'll poly with this program. So it's not Max, it's my recording software. As you can see, it cut it. Uh, I didn't have it completely through, and then it compl cut out what was in the box. Now we have the cylinder that goes all the way through, so we can do the same thing. Let's just subtract it. You can see it puts the poly inside and goes all the way through it. While we're on a roll, we might as well get rid of See, doesn't always do exactly what you want. So let's do imprint. Now what imprint does, as you can see, is it will cut the object and leave an imprint of basically where that object was. But sometimes you don't necessarily want the polys gone or the chunk taken out of it. You just want that gone. So cookie, on the other hand, that will remove that chunk but also leave it open. You can see in the box. Let's undo, undo. And let's move over to our next example. This would be a good example of a roll cage. And what I have done in the past is I tend to, if this is say the roof top line, I will move this bar up just a tick or cut and shrink it a little bit so it's inside the roll bar. Uh, while that isn't always ideal, it usually works if you're not going to see it. But if you are going to be able to see the, the entire roll cage, like on buggies, etc., there is a way to tubes the same size. And you know, on a real race car, we'd obviously notch them. But in our factor, if we have two tubes the same size, you can almost see that one poly right here, and it's getting a little pissy. Well, in our factory, it'll do the same thing. To fix that problem, while this does add a little more poly, but at least you won't have the flashiness that would annoy me of the polys fighting. So let's go to ProBoolean, same thing. We want to intersect these. I think that's the right one. We'll find out real quick. Nope, that is the wrong one. Yeah, you got some interesting posts there, but uh, we want to union them, sorry. As you can see, they are union. They're here. There's nothing on the inside. I can't right click Edible Poly with my program, uh, my recording software, so I've already done it here. I have my pole selected. Well, let's just detach it. And this attach element still works. And then you'll be able to see. Whoop. Yeah. Basically, it looks like it's been notched. How proper tubing would be. You're not going to get any Z fighting because it cuts out what doesn't need to be there. And you can see there's that one poly is not going ape shit like the other one, like that one would. Uh, once you detach it, 
the verts are broken, so it's not going to, in our factor, uh, I'm sure other games are similar, it's not going to try to uh, smooth over right there. And you're going to get a nice clean line. Uh, it's going to look like it's properly done roll cage. Now, with this example, uh, let's try here. Same thing. So we have that one little issue with it being pissed off there. Go to probe lean. Start picking. Say though uh, we just need the the cut. So we'll do imprint. There we go. Obviously we rarely would need that, but you never know. Let's click on do. We could do subtraction. Oh, sorry, I forgot to do uncheck. Whoop. Can't click happy. Subtraction. Gives you a very interesting shape. Do just do union and issue solved. Now you will have uh, you'll get some odd results as you'd see just by selecting some of these. You get uh, merge. Merge is a little silly because it leaves the poly there that we didn't we want it gone to begin with. Uh, let's see insert, which is just pretty much attaching the two. As you can see there's the results. That seems a little silly. Um, attach, no intersections. I have no idea what this does. Uh, just attaches them, which is pretty much just clicking attach already. But you get the idea. Uh, you get some nice clean cuts here. Um, R factor won't go nuts. As long as you detach these bars that you made the cuts through, well, yes, you, you do increase your poly count a little bit. Uh, some places you, uh, you, know, you can afford to do that, especially on bars that are going to be ex either external or easily viewable. Uh, when you, let's see, let's go right here. Let's render that out. Uh, you're going to see it looks the part. It looks a nice, clean cut. Uh, we shouldn't get any flashing polys because there's none because it cut them all out. I'm sure there's easy ways of slicing and dicing this that you probably could do this but to be honest this is pretty quick and painless way of uh, combining these bars. Any questions or comments please feel free to leave them here. Uh, unfortunately right now my forum is broken. I am working on getting that set back up with a new forum. But till then, uh, only comments I can have are uh, on this channel here or PM me on the numerous forums I belong to. Thanks for watching.